back to my channel. It's me, Michelle, and I have an exciting video for you today. Well, at least I think it's exciting. <laughs> um, I'm going to be trying um, a product, the Wetline Extreme Gel. There we go. try this product out because I noticed that I've been using products that have not been either they'll give me definition but no shine or shine but no definition so it's like that's not really what I'm into I'm into shine and definition and that's really only for the first day because when the first day if my shine definitions there I know that the days after my washing goes are gonna be like fleeky like if people still say that um, but this is so bomb. This is the whipped coffee. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram. If you don't, it is Shelly Says So. But I made this whipped coffee um, on Instagram. I'm going to put it in my Munchies highlights. If you are going to be new to following me, it'll be under there. But it's really so bomb. <clears throat> but let's talk about the products and then after that I'm gonna go wet my hair put some leave-in conditioner in because I actually did shampoo my hair yesterday and I washed it and I deep conditioned it and I used a product in my hair that at first I thought I absolutely love this but as it dried I was like are you kidding me like no and that's that's just not hot to me so this was yesterday's wash and go and today I'm not going to re-shampoo, I'm just going to rinse it out and put a leave-in conditioner in it. I'm actually going to be using the Aunt Jackie's Moisture Intensive Leave-In Conditioner. I really like that one and then I'm going to be using the Miracle Curls Curl Defining Oil. Um... And then in previous videos, I know that I've said it before, but I use the lock method, the liquid oil and cream method. So I'll, the liquid always is water and then my oil and then my cream and then I'll put this wet line on top of it. Um, I've never used this before. I've just been watching Kimberly Shirell. Um, I feel like we kind of have similar hair just kind of from looking at it. Um, so that's why I was like, okay, I might as well try it. But I hear that a lot of naturals kind of use this, so I'm a little bit late to the party. But yeah, so I'll be doing a wash and go with you, um, with this product. Um, let's get into the details really quick. So it is a styling gel. It is aloe vera. Well, just a styling gel, aloe vera, no residues, alcohol free, and with a UV filter. So if you're outside... I guess this will be great. Styling gel for hair. Apply on your hands. Rub palms to evenly distribute. Then apply as needed to either wet or dry hair. Comb as desired. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Ext extremely good gel. Okay. Bold claim to make. I will be the judge of that. Um, and I'm also going to be kind of using the method that she used in that um, video as well. She kind of just like combed it through and then just left it didn't touch it at all so to comb it through I am going to be using my Denman um, vent brush um, there's a lot of different types of Denman brushes I know that the most popular one is like the um, the red one with the black one but Denman's a company so they make multiple brushes <laughs> but that is a type of Denman brush as well and so is this one um, and then I'm going to be using some crocodile clips to section my hair because I really want to do the shingling method um, that's what I was very first doing when I first got into styling my hair because I didn't know what to do. So I am going to do that as well. Okay, so I've just rinsed my hair out, got everything out of it. Um, I haven't done anything because I figured I would just do everything on camera. All my curly girls out there, please tell me that you still use either, what do they call it, a microfiber towel or a t-shirt to dry your hair. I... I love it because I feel like when I take my t-shirt off my hair, I still have like water in it, which, you know, you really do want your hair to be kind of soaking wet. <clears throat> I mean, in order for the curls to look good. So while I'm doing this, I do have my water bottle um, just to keep my hair wet. Alright, so this is my hair with nothing in it. 
just plain Jane boring. Um, sorry, I'm trying to see if my part is good. So I always do a zigzag part. So I just, yeah, I just want to make sure it's not straight. So I always do a zigzag part because when you do zigzag, it gives you more volume there. Because if I do a straight back part, then it'll be like flat. You know what I'm saying? It'll go like this. It'll go like this first. And I like all this to be voluminous. So yeah. It's actually not too drippy right now. So that's not too bad. Okay, so let's start with our liquid for the lock method. This isn't going to be too in-depth. I can do a like talk through kind of video if you want me to uh, of a wash and go. I can totally do that. But this one isn't going to be too in-depth since I'm really just doing this video to try out this product. So yeah. Okay, so I just started by wetting my hair. Not like super wet, but I'm gonna go back and wet it some more. So I've sectioned my first section, then I'm just putting the oil in, and then I'm using the leave-in conditioner. Then I'm just gonna brush that all through, make sure everything's evenly distributed. And then I'm just gonna do that for the next two sections. And I know they kind of look like big sections, but as I go through and style my hair, I'm actually going to split those two big sections into four sections. I just ran out of crocodile clips, so I just had to make do with what I have. smells like clean like hmm it doesn't really have like a smell to it almost literally just spilled this whole thing I just can't get over how like it doesn't smell like anything like I really like that I'm not a big person of fragrance so I'm just gonna <laughs> dude pray for me so I'm gonna kind of test to see how heavy this is. I haven't used like gel gel in my hair in a minute. Now, Kim said what you wanna do, you gotta make sure it's all on the, oh, I'm already loving this. And then you gotta brush it. Oh, this one's giving me a hard time. So I'm just gonna do it like this, like she said, and then she said, don't touch it. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm just gonna add a little more. Cause what I'm gonna do, cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna let this air dry and then I might hit it with the diffuser. Ooh, that is too tight of a curl. But yeah. See, my hair used to never be this dry at the root, honestly. And that's really why I'm like, you know what? I really have to figure out what's wrong with my hair. Yeah, it's just kind of got to be drippy. 
I think that's really what it is. Because I used to use Eco Styler, which is what I was going to kind of compare this to. But it feels different than Eco Styler. Like, um, if you used Eco Styler before... Oh, that was way too much. <laughs> Listen. Hey, but that's the level I like to operate on. I was only using a little bit because Kim only used a little bit. See, but look how much better my curls came out when I used a lot. You know what? And that's why you can't listen to people. You just gotta do you. Oh my goodness. I'm just rambling. Yes. So we're gonna just wet this a little more. I'm just not going out like that. There we go. Yeah. Better. So now that I have it all in my hair, let me do a little quick turnaround, and then my camera's gonna die, and then I'm gonna be back once it's dry. You know how I love when YouTubers, they be like, they like do the promo to show you what they're going to be doing. They'd be like, <laughs> that's me right now. All right, so we'll let this dry and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. It's actually, when did I first start filming? Like around one. It's 7.50 right now, but I did let my hair kind of air dry for a little bit and then I tried this new diffusing technique on my hair because I just feel like people are getting great results and I just couldn't figure out how to get good results with diffusing and so I honestly think I figured it out. This is the final product or the result of using that product. I absolutely love it. Um, it's, it, ha it says it has like... Um, like between a, um, a little bit more than a medium hold, but not exactly a maximum hold. And I feel like I can feel that because it's not like really crunchy, but it like I can feel that it has a hold to it. Like when I. Thanks so much for watching and tuning in. It's so late. I'm sorry if like the. Lighting is bad because I did wait hella long to film this and so the sun went down so I couldn't use the natural light so whatever. Also don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Shelly Sesso and then you can subscribe and...